Hello everyone, today I am going to discuss the fourth problem of Code Weekly Contest 296 which is design a text editor. So uh, we are given a text editor and a cursor. Uh, so we can add text where the cursor is. So uh, let's say we want to add some text, it will be added to the right of the cursor and we can delete some text. When we are deleting some text, we have to return the number of text deleted and uh, we uh, the text will be deleted from the left of the cursor or we can move the cursor to the left or to the right so let's take this example so now uh, we are initializing text editor first and then we are adding the uh, text lead code so the cursor will be at the end so after adding lead code the cursor is at the end the, uh, the cursor is represented by a pipe now uh, we are deleting um, uh, four texts so uh, after deleting four texts from the left of the cursor, so the now cursor will point to the end of the lead. Okay, so four texts are deleted. Now the, again we are um, uh, so after deleting the four texts, we have to return four number number of texts deleted. So now you are thinking that we are passing four as a parameter is the number of texts deleted. So the answer will always be the parameter pass, but that is not the case. Uh, let's say uh, when um, let's say we passed uh, here ten. Okay, but there are only eight characters here, so we have to return eight in that case. So now uh, again we are adding practice. Okay, so now uh, the text will be now lead practice and uh, cursor will be point to the at the end. Okay, now uh, when uh, the next operation is cursor right, so we are moving the cursor to the right by three, so, but the cursor is at the end and it can't move any right further. Okay, so the uh, after doing this operation, we have to return the last 10 characters. So the 10 characters, which is at the left of the cursor. If there is no, uh, not 10 characters, then we have to return the number of characters to the left. Okay, so let's say uh, now uh, the eight, 10 characters will be practice and ET. So the uh, answer will be ET practice. Now we have to move the cursor to the left by eight. Okay, uh, so the cursor will be moved left by eight. So the cursor will point to left delete cursor practice now we have to delete 10 text but here you can check is that there are only four text to the left of the cursor so the answer will be four and the lead will be deleted and the cursor will point to the start of the text okay now we want to move the cursor to the left by two but we can't move it further because it is the extreme left position so it will be the same the cursor will point to the start of the text and the text will be practice now uh, the last operation is we are trying to move the cursor to the right by six so now the cursor will point to uh, practice and practice cursor C and the, what is the answer? The answer will be we want to get the um, uh, last 10 values but there are only 6 values so the answer will be practice. So we are uh, printing the last 6 values to the left of the cursor. So let's check how we can solve the problem. So uh, in the context I have done something complicated with double linked list but uh, after um, I have solved the problem I think there is some easier solution using two DQs. One is the left DQ and another one is the right DQ. So uh, there are uh, four operations in a DQ you, you all might know. The four operations are let's say first operation is push front. So when we are doing push front uh, we are uh, let's say we are adding something at the front of the DQ and another one is push back so we are adding something at the end of the DQ and let's say the third operation is let's say pop front pop front means we are deleting from the start of the DQ front of the DQ and pop back means we are deleting from the rear end of the DQ so we are deleting from here okay so we are uh, taking two DQs left and right and there are four operations you can check there are four operations which is add text delete text cursor right and cursor left so let me write these operations. Uh, let's say this is uh, uh, one is add text, first operation. The second operation is delete text. The third operation is what? Third operation is cursor left, and the fourth operation is cursor right. So let's. Uh, I, I will try to explain all the operations. How will you do it? So let's take the first DQ by this this DQ, and the second DQ this DQ. Now the first operation is we are adding lead code. So this is left and this is right. So when we are adding uh, something, add text operation is always I we are pushing back in the left DQ. Okay, so lead code will be added here. Lead code. Now let's go to the second operation. The second operation is what? Second operation is we are deleting text by four. Four text will be deleted. 
so when we are deleting some text we will try to delete from the rear end of the left dq so this four will be deleted okay so the, now the um, left will contain so now the left will be only lit okay only lit and the right dq is empty right dq is empty now what is the next operation uh, so the next operation is cursor right by three cursor right by three so now this operation can't be done because cursor is at the end of the text so this operation can't be done so and we have to return the next four characters so lit will be returned so answer will be lit now let's move to the next operation the next operation is cursor uh, so next operation is uh, add text practice okay add text practice so practice will be added uh, at the rear end of the left dq at the rear end so we are doing some pushback operations here so lead practice will be done now the next operation is cursor left by 8 so this operation is interesting so now in the in the cursor left operations what will you do we will remove we will pop back from the left dq so e will be popped back and e will be added here push front of the right dq so popping back from the left dq and pushing front in the right dq so e will be added here C will be added here deleted and added here deleting for deleted from the left and added to the right so this will be added so this all will be added here so this will be practice so practice so now the left dq is lead and the right dq is practice now what is the next operation the next operation is delete text by 10 so delete text by 10 we can only delete uh, four characters so i have already told that when we are doing some delete operations we will delete from the left dq so popping back from the left dq so these four proper, uh, characters will be popped back now uh, now the left dq is empty and the right dq is only contain practice now the next operation is what the next operation is cursor left by two so there is no operation like cursor left because the left dq is empty now uh, the next operation is cursor right by six so now i will try to uh, explain what is cursor right by six okay how will you do cursor right by six now it is containing practice this is uh, the right dq and the left dq is empty okay so what is the operation here so we are uh, doing six cursor uh, six cursor right operation so when we are doing cursor right operation we will pop front from the right dq and pushing back in the uh, left dq so p will be added here the in r will be popped back r will be added here a will be uh, pop front and uh, push uh, back to the left dq again c t i so like this practice and uh, at the end we are doing uh, like do the like print this six characters so answer will be practice I hope you got my explanation. Now I will I will try to explain the code. The code is simple. Uh, so we are taking two DQs uh, of characters, left and right. So when adding the text, we are just pushing back into the left DQ. And uh, when we are popping back, we are popping back from the uh, like deleting the text. Sorry, delete text operation. We are popping back from the left DQ uh, while the while k is greater than zero and the left is not empty. Okay, and at the end we are returning the answer. The number of characters is deleted. So when we are doing cursor left operations, uh, while k is greater than zero and uh, left dot size, so uh, I have already explained the what is the cursor left operation. So we'll uh, like pop back from the left dq and push uh, front in the right dq. And at the end, we are just traversing from the backwards of the left. It will be same in the both cursor left and the cursor right operation. The operation uh, this this thing is same. This part is same. Total this part is same in cursor left and cursor right. Uh, so uh, we are taking the um, uh, like minimum of in uh, 10 characters and let's say 10 comma 6 minimum of 10 comma 6 is 6 like this th in this operation and uh, at the end we are returning the answer and similarly in the cursor right operation uh, we are just uh, pushing uh, pushing back in the left dq and popping front from the right dq i hope you got it if you still have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section i will try to answer your query Please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.